Hello guys and welcome to this video about propranolol. Propranolol is a beta blocker that was developed by the Scottish physician James Black in the 1960s and in this video I'm going to talk about the mechanism of action of this drug, the clinical uses and the adverse effects. So let's start. So propranolol is an unselective beta blocker that blocks beta-1 and beta-2 receptors. So beta-1 receptors are found in the heart and it has a positive chronotropic and ionotropic effects when activated. Chronotropic means uh, heart rate and ionotropic means contractility. So it leads to increased heart rate and increased contractility of the myocardial muscle when it is activated and beta 2 receptors are found in the lungs and it leads to bronchodilatation when activated an easier way to remember them beta 1 is is found in the heart so one is ha one heart and beta 2 is found in the lungs and 2 is for two lungs this is easier way to remember them so propranolol is a non-selective beta blocker so it inhibits both of these receptors so it inhibits beta 1 receptor and that lead to a decreased contractility and decreased heart rate and it inhibits the beta 2 receptor and this leads to not bronchodilatation but it leads to bronchoconstriction Therapeutic effects comes from the beta-1 inhibition while the adverse, some, one of the adverse effects comes from beta-2 inhibition. So this figure would, uh, would clarify this even more. So here we have propranolol. It inhibits both of the beta receptors. It blocks beta-1 receptor and it, it blocks beta-2 receptor. A blocking beta-1 receptor would decrease the cardiac output. This is the therapeutic effect that we we can we, that can be useful in hypertension, angina, myocardial infarction, and other uses. But inhibition of both of these drugs would lead to the di disturbance in glucose metabolism, hypoglycemia. Uh, that comes from decrease in the glucagon secretion and decrease in the uh, in the also in the glycogenolysis and this would give us hypoglycemia uh, that is considered a side effect of this of this drug of this drug inhibiting blocking beta 2 receptor would give us bronchoconstriction as i said earlier that's because of the beta 2 inhibition and beta-2 inhibition also would give us a peripheral vasoconstriction. Uh, that's because uh, blocking of the beta-2 mediated vasodilatation. So when it is inhibited, it would give us a peripheral vasoconstriction. Yeah, so that's it for the mechanism of action. Now for the clinical uses, uh, propranolol is used in many different uh, diseases the first one is hypertension uh, it is used in the hypertension to decrease cardiac output this is one technique to, to decrease blood pressure and the other one is inhibiting ren renin release and decreasing sympathetic stimulation and this will give us a decrease in the blood pressure that is very useful in treating hypertension. It is also used in angina and it works by decreasing the myocardial blood demand uh, and it also relaxes the heart muscles, uh, muscle so it would lead to a relief uh, for the chest pain that patients with angina have. And it is also used in myocardial infarction in fact, 
it decreases mortality in myocardial infarction when it is used after the uh, after the myocardial infarction and it relaxes the heart muscles and it will lead to decrease in the infarct size and enhance recovery of the patient and this drug is used in combination with aspirin to decrease mortality in the myocardial infarction patients and is very useful and it is also used in hyperthyroidism it decreases the sympathetic stimulation caused by this condition and it also a protective against cardiac arrhythmias that comes with the hyperthyroidism. It is used in migraines and that's because it is a lipophilic, uh, it has a lipophilic nature, so it would be able to cross the blood brain barrier and it is effective in reducing migraines. And finally, is used for anxiety it decreases the physical symptoms of the anxiety and that would be a, a useful option uh, for an anxiety for patients who have anxiety so now for the adverse effects of this drug so the first one is bronchial constriction that I, I talked about earlier because of the inhibition of beta 2 receptor and it is much more serious in asthma patients, in asthmatic patients, and it might cause death because it is so, so serious. And that's why it is contraindicated in patients who have asthma or COPD. The other adverse effect that might happen with this drug is arrhythmias. And that's when the drug is stopped suddenly because this, this drug needs to be tapered down when it is stopped. So if it is stopped, stopped suddenly, it would lead to arrhythmias. And it might also cause hypoglycemia. And I also explained this earlier, earlier, earlier because of decreased glycogenolysis and decreased glucagon secretion that would give us hypoglycemia in normal people and would give us a profound hypoglycemia in diabetic patients. Now finally, we have the CNS related problems, the central nervous system related problems. We have depression, lethargy, fatigue, weakness, hallucinations, and other CNS problems that might happen with this drug. And that's it for this video guys, please like this video and subscribe for the channel, it helps me a lot subscribing to my channel.